everyone and welcome back to Carmelit's Kitchen. I hope everyone is having a great day today. And today is Tuesday and Hobby is making some oxtail. So he what he do, he clean his oxtail up, wash it, and he is steaming up. He is steaming this oxtail before he start cooking it. So, huh? Yes, so he seasoned up his oxtail and he put it to steam before he start cooking his oxtail. So Hobby, how are you gonna cook this oxtail today? Curry too, how? Cassip, show? Oh, he said he will show his oxtail. So stay tuned everyone and um, let's see how Abby will start cooking his oxtail. here I go in with a bay leaf here I have some cayenne pepper I also have some fresh chili grind pepper I have some adobo I have some chicken seasoning and I also have some um, white pepper in here so now I will go ahead and I will all add all these into the pot because we want to season up this you know we want this curry to taste good this should taste good so here I add all my seasoning and I also add some fresh uh, rosemary in there. See it's floating up with a fine time. So I still still have to cook more. So I will, you know, I will cover this very low and I will leave it to cook. I still have a long way more to go everyone. So let's cover this and leave it from low to medium and let it take your time and let it cook because you want this to cook, you know, let it just loose off the bone. That's how you want it to cook. This is checking on hobby brown stew oxtail. Hobby have to left for work. Um, they have an emergency and they call him so he have to go in. So I will um, finish up cooking his um, oxtail. Oxtail is looking really good and delicious, but I don't need oxtail. So now I will go in with some fresh um, seasoning I had picked from the tree. Some parsley, cilantro, mardman, broadleaf. And I go in with the hot peppers. So I'm gonna still leave this to cook. Let it go down a little bit more before I take it down. Let's check in on the meat, guys. Let's check in and see if it's cooked. I wanna make sure. Bobby said make sure the, the meat is well cooked and the stuff and loose it off the bone, alright? So let's test it. Oh, look, look guys, it's cooked. Huh. Mm -hmm. I cut it and look. 
um, it's loose enough guys look uh, so this is good so I will still leave it let it go down a little bit more before I turn it off and it's upstairs it's cooking outside you know the weather is nice so we cook it outside once it get cold we go back into the kitchen so guys um this here i'll give i'll give it like a three minutes more you know actually like a uh, five minutes more we'll put it on put it on very low let the pepper steam up and um we will go inside after this is finished we will go in and i have some nice scotch bonnet peppers these peppers here some hot peppers um i had picked on the tree that's on the other side of the garage so i have a few of them uh you know a couple well so i want to grind it and make some hot peppers and leave it i made some this other day but i still want to make some and leave it because you know once the the tree die that's it so i'm gonna pull it in a bottle and leave it for winter time so we once this is finished we will go in and uh, we will start grinding the pepper just basically um grind pepper we will do and this is looking so good so stay tuned i sit there and i go anyway okay i have my coffee watch i tv two oxtail from camless kitchen these are really looking delicious and very tasty One. very tasty look guys these are looking so good and this is finished the meat is well cooked and soft so now I'm gonna go in with some scallion and this is all done so let's take it in and we will start start to grind our pepper Look oh guys, this, this, this meat is so soft. Look, I cut it, it's loosened off the bone. Just like how hubby want it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Canvas Kitchen. So everyone, hubby was with me cooking his oxtail. But something came up at work and he had to leave and go. So I finished cooking his oxtail and now i will show you all the final products sorry that um hobby is not here to you know taste the oxtail for you guys um i don't need oxtail but um i will show you all the finished products and we will start to grind the scotch bonnet pepper we will make some pepper sauce i just make my pepper sauce um this is the way i made my pepper sauce everyone everybody make their pepper sauce different but try this recipe it's very tasty and very delicious um pepper sauce so let's so everyone this is the final products of the oxtail brown stew oxtail it looks very delicious and very tasty guys um looking at it i can tell will taste good and this meat is loosened apart just um just as the way how we wanted the more bone must loose off the meat exactly how i cook it um i'm sure that when he get home he will enjoy this um, I don't know if he's going to have it with rice or he will have it with naan. I also have naan. So yes, this is just the final um, products of the oxtail. I'm going to bring it up very close. All right, guys. So this is the oxtail. This is finished. So let's go in and let's uh, show you all the ingredients to grind the pepper. So we will make this nice uh, pepper sauce, right? So here I have some scotch bonnet pepper I pick in the garden. This on the other side of the garage. And here I have a little bit of brown sugar. Here I have two pieces of mango, cucumber. Here I have mustard, salt, and white vinegar. And here I have garlic. So I will add these ingredients into my pepper sauce. The sugar will give it a nice balance, will not make it too hot and too spicy. So let's start um, making this pepper sauce, everyone. So here I will use in my blender to make this pepper sauce. So here I will go in with the pepper. Don't forget, let me wear one gloves, everyone. So 
So yes, guys, I went to put on the gloves because I don't want to get bored with this paper on my hand. So now we will add the paper into the blender. See, now I can actually hold the paper. That's a nice amount of um, pepper. So now we will go in. We will put everything in here now. Mango, cucumber. We will add everything um, into the blender. We will also add the sugar. It's a, um, just a one spoon of sugar, tablespoon sugar. And here I have some one and a half tablespoon of salt and here goes one cup of white vinegar and here I'm going with one spoon of mustard this will balance out the pepper and here I'm going with my garlic Okay, let's put these on the side. You see guys, everything in the blender. So let's put the lid on. Okay guys, so here we have the blender with the pepper and I add in all the ingredients inside. So let's start blend this up. The blender will crush everything up, guys. And I think this is finished, so let's check on it. Bronze chew oxtail and Guyanese pepper sauce. Guys, look at this pepper sauce. When you make a pepper sauce, that's how it should look. Let me throw it out and show you. Look. Smooth and the mango and this little sugar will balance out the pepper sauce it's not going to be too hot because this pepper is really hot so this is my pepper sauce here and this is the Bronx stew here guys so thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing um now hobby came home back so he will go ahead and he will um enjoy so thank you all for watching and have a great evening guys take care love you all bye bye